Hi there, my name is Greg, and uh, I was about to sell this these tripod legs, and I thought before I might do a video to spare you guys some time of figuring out, like I did, how to install a head on these amazing Sachler tripod legs. Now, these are amazing legs. They're very quick to set up. The pneumatic column is a godsend when you're doing interviews, and the leveling is great. However, it is this leveling system that makes this whole process complicated. Let me explain. On the newer models, there's a button here to lock the ring inside. Uh, however, on the first models, there is none. So you jam something in there. I use like uh, uh, those small uh, screwdriver or a small Allen key would do. Jam it up here and then once you, you'll, you'll feel the, the ring sort of the, I'm sorry, the instrument go under the ring and you just jam it there and then you can turn and then you will be able to slowly free the head. Now this is a, a 75 millimeter head and it still fits, although it's made for 100 millimeter uh, bowls, but it's, it still works. So after a couple of turns there, it's finally freed. This is what it looks from the inside. So see that part over here? I'm gonna jam the my screwdriver in the hole again and you'll be able to see it move. See that ring here is the part that makes the whole thing being able to level. And the threads of the end of your head have to go inside this hole. However, as you can see, it's a moving part. So it really isn't that easy, but I'm going to attempt to do it again. All right, so first thing you want to do is make sure that your pan uh, axle is locked because otherwise you're going to play with the head and it's not going to, uh, well, it's not going to turn the screw, it's actually going to turn the pan, which is not what you want. So first thing is that you align the, the screw with the inside of the threaded shaft in the ring. Now the ring touches the bottom of the, the, the whole assembly, so it's not that hard to get it started. It's to tighten it up that becomes a little tricky if you don't know how to do it. Um, so I align this thing right to the shaft, and then I know I'm pretty much in. And then if you start turning it, at one point, you're gonna feel that you're hitting the bottom of the bowl. And just actually now I'm on I'm touching the bat the the bowl so in order to tighten it up even more because obviously now it's slack but it doesn't touch all the way down uh, in order to activate this uh, locking lever you have to first put it down and then jam the thing whatever it is inside there usually what I do is that I hold the head up and then try to Put it down and so I can have a sort of a lever effect over the the little metal ring and then you turn it all the way up to the point where it feels like it locked here now it's pretty good uh, then if I take out this instrument the lever stays there because it puts the um, the spring puts the stress on the ring which locks the head now, you don't want this to be too tight like it is now, or it's not that bad, but you don't want it too tight, otherwise it, it's just stressing for no reason. So the, the way to adjust that is to jam the thing here and slowly, while pressing down on the lever, going counterclockwise, and then, see, now it's, it's sort of at a place where I'm, I'd be comfortable. Well, it's still not tight enough, so let's tighten it up a little more. Jam the damn thing here. Go, I don't know, a little bit like that. That's not so bad, see? You, you don't want it to be perfectly parallel because uh, to the floor, otherwise that, that's a little too much uh, strength. But I guess almost parallel is almost 90 degree is, uh, is a good place. So. That's how you adjust uh, the hot pods.